In this episode, we will compare new Surface Pro 11 with Surface Pro 10. In terms of displays, both are 13-inch, 120Hz panels with a resolution of 2880x1920. But while the Surface Pro 10 is limited to an LCD panel, the Surface Pro 11 also offers the choice of an OLED display. Of course, OLED technology is significantly more advanced than the far simpler LCD technology. The primary distinction between these two devices is the CPUs that power them, but it's also crucial to note that the Surface Pro 10 has up to 64GB of RAM, while the Surface Pro 11 only has 32GB. This may matter to you, even though most users won't require 64GB. The Surface Pro 10 has U-Series Intel Core Ultra processors, whereas the Surface Pro 11 has Snapdragon X chips. But as of yet, the Snapdragon X chips haven't undergone thorough testing or benchmarking, so we don't have a whole picture of how well they operate. On the other hand, preliminary benchmarks indicate that the Snapdragon X Elite will have the capability to surpass a processor such as the 165 u found in the Surface Pro 10. According to Microsoft's estimation, the average user of a Surface Pro 10 can get 19 hours of battery life, and a Surface Pro 11 can get 14 hours of video playback. We expect you'll be able to get an average of a workday's worth of battery life out of both the 15WU Series Core Ultra CPUs and the increasingly power-efficient Snapdragon X chips. The Surface Pro 11 is ultimately our choice because it contains nearly everything you might want in a laptop and tablet, including an optional OLED display, a potent Snapdragon X CPU, and Copilot's array of AI functions. However, keep in mind that a high-end Surface Pro 11 will get pricey. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed our video, leave a like and subscribe for future updates.